All right, guys, here we go. This is the big one. Another huge episode of the True Footy AFL Evolution 2 career, this time taking on the Collingwood Magpies, a team we've built a fine rivalry with over the years. I'm trying to think of our last four or five clashes. There was that amazing um, qualifying final, and then, of course, the grand final in 2018. We had two good clashes in 2019, one of them, one of which Collingwood won by a point. And then to start this season, or in the middle of this year, Collingwood beat us with a final kick of the game at the MCG to win by about four or five points. I think it was four points in the end. So, a huge rivalry here built on mutual respect, and it's likely these two teams will be the top two teams going into the finals, and potentially this could be a grand final preview. Collingwood look primed. This could be their year after a few years of uh, disappointment, particularly 20. Obviously, 2018, losing the grand final, but 2019, I reckon they'll really regret losing in the dying minutes to the Giants, and uh, this may be their year yet. So, the Eagles have some unlucky news on the suspension front. This time, Nick Nat Nui has been suspended for two weeks for rough conduct. So, those are the final two games of the home and away season, and he's replaced in the selected side by Nathan Vardy. But other than that, oh no, actually, no, that's not true. We also have Tom Barras coming in for Harry Edwards. So some experience in, some experience out. Either way, it's a strong team. Let's get into it, boys and girls. The game is underway. Taps it down. A chance for Grundy. Gives it to Cox. Oh, straight from the center. Mason Cox with a very, very good goal, I must say. That is a devastating blow to start the game for the Eagles. Great burst of speed there from the star midfielder, but Collingwood's Brody Grundy wins it back there, surging forward again. He evades the tackler. Who is that? That was a bloody good goal from Dane Beams, who's made a shock return to AFL football later in this season. That was ripping goal. The Eagles really need a settler. Oh, Andrew Gaff has hesitated. It's probably going to cost them a goal too. Collingwood have three on the board. Jeez, Stevenson now marks. Can he launch from inside 50, from outside 50 rather? He can't. Although, don't tell me. That is four. Travis Varco from long range on his left. The Eagles have not responded at all this quarter. Oh, don't tell me they're going end to end. They are. Chris Main with the diving mark over his opponent, Brad Shepard. The Eagles' defence has not been able to repel a single inside 50, I don't think. Collingwood have been precise with their ball movement. And this is mimicking the grand final of 2018. This time, do the Eagles have the response? Or Collingwood not going to let it slip this time? Oh, got shepherded there cleverly. Oh, the ball spills free, and Collingwood are going to run into another open goal. Liam Ryan needs to be accurate. He's not. Neither is Jack Redden. The Eagles stay scoreless on the brink of quarter time. That is it. That is all she wrote for quarter time. The game's just about over already. Collingwood have come out with a vengeance that I haven't witnessed by any team this season. They're looking like... The real deal, as you can see the stats, we had six inside 50s, but they're all terrible. Nothing really to glean from that other than we're just getting dominated pretty much in every category. Tim Kelly finds an uncontested Oscar Allen. The Eagles start. Can they start, well, start the quarter well is what I'm trying to say. I think I've missed. Oh, that hurts. There's got to be a score here. No! <laughs> They're playing the goalkeeper well. I don't know how they have the numbers to do that. But I've been defied again as he... That's a clanger. Here we go. Surely. No, nah, I've done <laughs> I've done it again. Haven't learned from my mistakes. Oh, this is embarrassing. Don't know if we've actually had a spoil in our defensive 50 throughout this whole game. Which has been not the only difference, but 
A big part of why they're 51 points up. Surely. Finally. And that's one of my first marks of the game, I reckon. Certainly the first in a semi-contested situation. Liam Ryan should put this through for the Eagles first. And finally, finally, we have a goal. Mark, yeah, oh, he's done well. Oh, it's a goal anyway. There's some things you just cannot defend. Oh, my goodness me. Two on one. <sighs> Every crumb there, there. Finally. Don't know if he's going to have the journey. He owes a pretty good kick. It's straight. It's made it. The Eagles have their second. Oh, no. Clever soccer there from Collingwood. Basically sets up another easy goal for them. So hard to defend once they get that soccer off. There's no way you can catch up. Here's another goal. Rough head. It was dominant last time we played the, the Pies. We'll have to put everything into this one. An opportunity for a third goal. Stretches it out to ten goals. This kick stretch guides it down. Puts the handball out in front. Doing well was Allen. A bit too hard. Oh, a free kick. That's pretty much the only way I'm getting shots at goal at this point. Lucky marks or free kicks inside 50. Oscar Allen gets our third. Oh, was that Redden? He just runs straight past the ball. Been a familiar theme of tonight's game. This will probably not go through. Needs a good sock off the ground. Redden's got it. The Eagles have two in a row for the first time. Oh no. Damn, too quick. Oh, oh no. Straight out of the centre. There is literally no way to defend that. And my chick's going to line up for another one. As well spotted there by Tim Kelly. Finally, I think it's Josh Kennedy. This could be one of his first possessions of the game. I don't think he's touched the ball yet, and it's the fourth quarter. He's got it. The Eagles need to aim for 43. I think that's our lowest score at the Stadium. Oh, good mark there from Jetta. Is he going to find Ryan? Oh, Ryan, stop running. Oh, it doesn't matter. Jared Cameron is taking the mark. Yeah, that's been sort of the story of tonight. I've spotted a good lead. And he stopped running. The Eagles are going to get two in a row again. Be a challenging kick for Allen. He's done all right tonight in a night where forward 50 is very hard to come by. Inside 50, rather. I think that's his second. The Eagles avoid their lower score at up the stadium, and suddenly the score doesn't look quite so heinous with a silent H. Duggan needs to put this through. He does. The Eagles cut the margin to 40 point. Nowhere near enough time. It's a really challenge in this game, but it helps percentage. Great pressure there from the Eagles forwards. Where was this throughout the contest? Oh, that is great play from Oscar Allen. Eagles quite a flat track bullies at the moment because Collingwood have well and truly put the cue in the rack and this is going to cut the margin back to five goals. Deliberate out of bounds play. That is controversial. Probably the worst call I've seen on this game, actually. Get up. Oh, that should go through. He's done it. Stopped on a dime. Collingwood really have stopped here. Cameron with a good center clearance there. 
Oh, no way. Oh, nearly with another ripper goal. The Eagles are starting to show a bit of class here. Obviously, not enough time to, to really put pressure on Collingwood. Oh, Brody Majacek has given Tom Barras an absolute bath today. I don't know if Barras has won maybe more than one contest against him. Such is the class of Majacek. He's put it through. It's back to 31 points. That is all she wrote on a dark day for this season for the Eagles. In the end, only lost by 31 points. It did look like it was going to get closer to that 80 to 100 point mark at one point. But Collingwood put the queue in their rack, perhaps conscious of finals. Although percentage does matter at this stage of this season, particularly with these sides now equal on points, I think. So a dark loss for the Eagles. They've had one bad loss, or at least... I think 2019 had two, but every season at Up the Stadium, we've had a, one or two really bad losses there. This, for us, would be that, although we did have more inside 50s. Collingwood were just so clinical. And like I said at some point during the game, like every inside 50 they had, I don't think we stopped one for a while. There was about 10 in a row that all ended up in marks and goals. Player of the match was Tom Phillips, and again for, I think, the second week in a row, no Eagles get a vote. We didn't really have too many winners all day. Oscar Allen had two goals. I thought he was all right. Josh Kennedy came into it late. Took him a while to get the ball. But Dom Sheed, 13 touches, was the only midfield contributor. Jared Cameron probably did play his best game for the club this season with 12 possessions. But overall, it was not enough to match the Collingwood might. So there we go, guys. One round to go, and the equation is simple. If we win against the Bulldogs away from home, and the Bulldogs are 14th, although they've had nine wins, it's actually not too bad. If we win away, we claim top spot. If we lose, we risk sliding to third, which would be pretty devastating. So it's an all-important game. Hope to see you join us next week. I'll have a quick look at the injuries. I don't think we've got anything... Ouch, our best on ground just about last week. Dom Sheed is out for four weeks. That sucks. That's going to be out until a prelim should we make it, if my math is correct. That is a devastating blow. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. One week to go to the finals. Hope to see you in the next episode. Take care.